Hi, and welcome to this video on Azure Pipeline Agents, self-hosted versus Microsoft hosted. So in this video, we're going to talk about what are agents, and then specifically, what are Microsoft hosted agents versus self-hosted agents, and get into a little bit about why you might want to use one versus the other. So let's start off by talking about what are agents. You've probably heard me mention agents in some of the previous videos that I've done. Well, agents are what's actually used to build and deploy the software that we're creating. So when we create a pipeline and we execute that pipeline, it runs on an agent, specifically, a pipeline has one or more jobs. So the agent is a piece of software that you install on, say, a virtual machine or even on a physical machine or in a container that runs one job at a time. Now, agents can run on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. So we have all the major operating systems covered. And they can also run in a Docker container. So you can containerize your agents if that's something that you want to look into. One key thing to remember about agents, whether you're using agents that you control, self-hosted, or whether you're using Microsoft hosted agents, is that the communication between the agent back to Azure DevOps is always initiated by the agent. So the agent basically checks in with Azure DevOps and says, hey, do you have something for me to do? And if Azure DevOps has something for it to do, has a job for it to run, then it hands off that job to the agent for the agent to do its thing, whatever that job might be, whether that's some kind of build job or some kind of deployment job. Now, as I mentioned before, there are two types of agents. So the first one I want to talk about is the Microsoft hosted agent. Now, the Microsoft hosted agent is hosted in Azure by Microsoft. So it's running on a VM in Azure that Microsoft has spun up out there for people to use. And it has big pools of these VMs that it has out there so that when you say, hey, I need a Microsoft hosted agent, it passes one off to you. The nice thing about Microsoft hosted agents are Microsoft handles all of the maintenance and all of the upgrades to the agent. So if there are patches that need to be installed or other upgrades that need to happen, for example, for some of the pre-installed software, if there's new versions that need to be installed on there, all of that is handled by Microsoft. And the beauty of these agents is it has certain software pre-installed. So it, you can get an agent, the agents will have like Visual Studio pre-installed. It will have a lot of different open source tools or frameworks pre-installed, .NET frameworks pre-installed. And this is important because if it's not pre-installed, then if there's a piece of software you need for your build to work, you have to install it as one of the tasks in your pipeline. So you can go out and look on the agents and you can see what software is installed on the agents by default. And if there's software that is missing or frameworks that is missing, then it's going to be up to you to make sure that software gets installed on the Microsoft hosted agent. But the agents do have the most common things installed on them. Now, each time you run a pipeline, you get a fresh virtual machine. So each time you run a pipeline, you get a fresh virtual machine, and that virtual machine is discarded after one use. So in comes this fresh machine, you do your thing in the pipeline, and then it discards that virtual machine, which means it also discards anything that you may have installed on that machine as part of your pipeline. So if you then have another pipeline that runs after this one, it's going to get another new machine. And if there's extra software that has to be installed on it, that takes time. 
So installing this software that you might need, if it's not pre-installed, can add to your build time. But pipelines hosted or running on Microsoft hosted agents are a simple and easy way to get started. So if you're just getting started with Azure pipelines, try the Microsoft hosted agents first. They may give you exactly what you need and allow you to get started quickly. However, there may be times when the Microsoft hosted agent doesn't do what you need. If that occurs, that's where you need to look at self-hosted agents. So a self-hosted agent is pretty self-explanatory. It's an agent that you set up and manage for yourself. So you go download the agent software and you install it on a physical piece of hardware or a virtual machine or a container. But you're responsible for installing the agent and then having it communicate back to Azure Pipelines to say, hey, I'm an agent and you can use me. You have control over the software that gets installed on the agent. So you can control all the frameworks or other third-party things that need to be on there for your software to build or deploy appropriately. You also have control over machine level caching and persistent configurations, which can increase the speed of your build. For example, there may be a bunch of packages that you pull down during the build process where you can have those cached on the machine to where it doesn't have to re-pull all those down and can speed up the build process. Another nice feature of self-hosted agents is it can help a little bit from a debugging perspective. It can run as a service, which means anytime you start it up, you can just, you know, have it run. It can run interactively, which means that you can decide, go to a command prompt and say, start the agent. And then you can also be able to view information as it's, as it's running across the agent screen, which also you'll see in the logs. But because you have, you know, RDP access into the agent, you also have the ability to remote in, look at the directories, look at the folder structures, look at the the files that have been pulled down, and that can help you with trying to debug an issue with your build or an issue with your release. So in conclusion, what we've talked about in this video are what are agents. We've talked about Microsoft hosted agents. We've talked about self-hosted agents and given you some pros and cons of when you might want to use each. Have a great day.